This is just a continuation of the last video I uploaded uh, about the truth about water. And I should have done this before, I should have included this in the video and I had forgotten, so I'm just gonna do it with you now. At home I use a water distiller and I use that if I ever feel like having tea or whatnot. To be honest, I very rarely drink water, almost never. Like I said in the previous video, thirst virtually vanishes when you're eating just fruits. Uh, and uh, living a natural, you know, waste-free, mucus-free lifestyle. So anyway, when I do drink water though, if I want tea or whatnot, as I said, it'll be distilled water. And I want to show you the inside of a distiller. For those who don't know, if you have a distiller, you know this already. But I want to show you what your tap water looks like or the residue uh, that your tap water leaves behind when the water is distilled. Now, whether it's tap water or whether it's hard water or mineral water, you'll have the same type of effect. There are more poisons in tap water than in mineral mineral water, sorry. So you'll probably see more deposits using or distilling tap water than you would mineral water. But here, let me take a second and I'll just show you. Okay, so this is the inside of my distiller. And as you can see, there is a lot of gunk. There's a lot of waste buildup at the bottom of this distiller. So as the water is left behind, it leaves behind these inorganic uh, mineral hard earthy residues. This is good to know, it's very instructive, because in your body, these are the same deposits that are going to be left in your tissues if you drink tap water, hard water, mineral water, or any type of water that isn't pure distilled water. If I were to distill distilled water, it wouldn't matter how many times I distill water in this container, the bottom of this container would be spotless. It would have, there would be no residues at all if I was distilling distilled water, okay? So anyway, yeah, that's all I really wanted to show you, just a quick visual that would supplement the last video that I put out. Uh, if you have any other questions, you know, leave them in the comments below. Subscribe to the Free Melon Society, become a Free Melon today. All sorts of important information on this channel now and information to come in future videos and lectures. So if you're finding these helpful, then of course, you know, subscribe so you don't miss any of the important content that I'm going to be sharing with you guys in the future. Anyway, that's it. All right. Thanks so much. Enjoy the day and we'll see you next time on the Free Melon Society.